Well, here is Justin Pilardi. This is a story tonight for the Argos as well. Swayze Wazer, Waters shut down because of a groin injury, and they have two Pilardis not related. Justin Pilardi will kick the converts. There is Michael Pilardi who will punt tonight. Justin Pilardi, maritime guy. Back in the CFL, great story, and Paul Hollingsworth will fill us in when we come back. There are the Pilardis. That's Michael on the left throwing the football. Signed as a kicker for the Argos to replace Swayze Waters. Here's Justin Pilardi, signed just the other day. With more on that, let's go to the sideline. Here's Paul Hollingsworth. Well, Rod, Justin Pilardi was back in Truro, Nova Scotia. He thought his CFL career was over. He was coaching Bantam football and preparing for his next career as a police officer. Training for that is supposed to start pretty soon for Pilardi. The phone rang. It was the Argos. They asked him to rejoin the Argos and be a CFLer again. He made it to one practice, and, of course, you know, he is suited up tonight for this game. And it brings us to the great question. Two Pilardis, two kickers slash punters, are they related? I asked Justin Pilardi before the game, is there any blood relative connection between the two he says both their fathers have French Canadian bloodlines going way back so so far as we know they're not related Rod but it's possible just possible that these two Polarity teammates are also distant relatives Brandon Whitaker rumbles well Paul Hollingsworth since you're with us tonight and you're also a Maritimer by the end of this game we want an answer <laughs> he's an investigative reporter I think Paul can find the answer if anybody can get it it's Hollywood yeah. That's right, he's from the East Coast. Yeah, no, he has some connections. But one is left footed, one is right footed. And Michael Pilardi played at Tennessee, NCAA, big time football. And Justin played at SMU, St. Mary's University. There they are. Wow. I guess they could, you know, put the goatee on them. Maybe they could be brothers, but that's fascinating. Like Brandon Thompson got away with one on that play. I don't think it would have mattered, Chad. Harris was going the other way the whole time. Staring down his receiver and he and his receiver on the short side were not on the same page. Justin Pilardi only a couple days ago was coaching a Bantam team in Truro, Nova Scotia. And so the kick team will come out and it is the field goal kicker who is coming out, Justin Pilardi. He's going to try a long one here. It's going to be about a 50 yarder. But this is the thing. If he makes this, it's a nine point game because of missed PAT. On the other end by Ottawa, this is huge. Makes this, it's a two possession game with 3.40 on the clock. Last kick two years ago. Field goals like this. Here is the kick. It's up and it is good. How about Justin Pilardi and his return to the CFL? And what a signing by the Argos this week. That's just crazy. And you know who's really cheering this on tonight? That Bantam football team in Truro, Nova Scotia, they're because their nuts. coach just gave the Argos a significant boost. Absolutely. And how about that chemistry between Sticky Stalla and Pilardi already? Just making that happen. That's money, because that's a nine-point differential right now. It's a two-possession game. And some folks here in this stadium, TD Place, are already leaving because they understand that. Time out, time out. Ottawa. Justin Pilardi had a perfect night. Again, called the other day by the Argos. What's up, Freightliners? Let's bounce back next week, guys. Let's go. That's his team, the Freightliners. And he was coaching this week and has been coaching, again, out of football, out of professional football. At Kicked for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Probably thought that he wouldn't get another crack. It isn't that crazy how it works out. That's that's, that's football. That's that's the CFL and that's a season opportunity. That's life. You never know.